Hi everyone, this is Dan again with Forex Boat Trading Academy. Happy to be with you today. Today's tutorial is going to cover an introduction to TradingView charts. Now, TradingView has become rapidly one of the more popular charting packages in the market. And the purpose of today's tutorial is just to familiarize you, you folks on a basic level with uh, the TradingView charts, how to sign up with TradingView, how to look at their different packages. And then uh, even if you're getting started with their basic uh, complementary package, how to basically look at some of your preference settings, get those set up properly on the charts, how to apply some of the common indicators that you might be looking to put onto the charts. So really just to kind of get you off on the right foot uh, with TradingView, especially if you're a first time user. Okay. so. Uh, what I've done here is I've come to the home page of TradingView, tradingview.com, and you can see uh, they're already kind enough to show us some uh, real-time prices uh, in some of the major instruments uh, that you know a lot of us are looking at these days, major currency pairs, stock indices, gold, oil, Bitcoin. Nice to see that. Uh, now, if I want to you know, get started with just their free trial, so basically uh, the most basic charting package they have, which actually has quite a bit involved with it. I would just click this start free trial button dead center in the site. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And this opens up a page that basically gives me the different options. So I can see all the different packages that TradingView offers, even if I'm not necessarily going to jump into any paid for package at the moment. But you can see, so they have uh, four different packages basic pro pro plus and premium uh you know as you get down here you can see uh what the differences are as i just mentioned the basic package actually includes quite a bit i know many traders that have been using the basic package for a long time so it really can you know probably fulfill many of your needs uh, you can see uh these charts have over 50 smart drawing tools over 100,000 technical indicators, 12 custom uh, chart types, uh, and back testing for trading strategies. And then as you get into the paid for packages, you know the, the add-ons continue and continue. Now, uh, the basic package, you can use complimentary pretty much as long as you like, okay? Uh, the other packages, if you'd like to um, test them out for 30 days, you can, they do have a free trial for 30 days for each of their paid for packages. So that is something whether right away you wanna test out or perhaps after using the basic package uh, for a period of time, you know, jump up to the higher one. Uh, so let's just, you know, proceed as someone who would like to uh, use their basic package and get familiar with TradingView for the first time. So I'm gonna go ahead and click, click start now. Okay, I you will have the option to uh, register with TradingView either through Gmail or through Facebook. Okay, I've opted previously through uh, Gmail, so I'm just going to proceed like that. Okay, and now you can see if I go to the top, I've been auto logged in. Okay, so my when you set up your profile, okay, I already have a profile. You can see here my profile is Diesel Dan. Okay, but if you're setting up your profile for the first time, okay, it's gonna ask you for a different set of information. Okay, uh, now it's gonna basically just want your 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 key, based, like I said, if you wanna connect through Gmail or Facebook is really what it's going to want to uh, see. So um, now once you're logged in, uh, your profile, you can do a lot of different interesting things with your profile. We're gonna go look at the technical indicators for a second, uh, and then you'll see basically you can set up specific uh, indicators that are flagged, okay, to your profile, which can be nice. I mean, if you if you start to set up any indicators and others start following you and things like that, then it can become, you know, your profile can become popular on TradingView. So uh, what I'm gonna do for the moment is uh, get to the charts because really what we wanna also cover in this tutorial is how to do some of the basic functions on the charts. So a currency pair that I was, I've been looking at today is the Australian dollar, US dollar. 
we're actually at a point in time right now where we're getting close to entering the uh, Aussie trading session, so the Asian trading session. Uh, and so I have the Australian dollar on my mind. <laughs> and so what I did to get to the main screen for Australian dollar is I just went to the ticker and I typed in AUD USD. Okay. Uh, it automatically filtered out, uh, or I was inside the Forex option already. So it filtered Australian dollar, US dollar for me. And I can see here the different sources of the price feeds for this currency pair. Okay. Uh, most often I'm choosing the first option that's provided to me. Uh, if you're somebody searching for a different instrument that perhaps is not a currency pair, let's say you're looking for a stock, you can go over here to the stock section. Uh, you can go over here to, uh, if you wanna look for a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, uh, you can go over here and I can type in hypothetically BTC USD, which is the symbol for Bitcoin. Okay, and I can get, uh, I'll be taken there. I'll go there quickly just to show that. Okay. And I can see, you know, the current price action for Bitcoin. So uh, it's a very robust charting package. It's very responsive, and really, you know, whatever you want to look for as far as instruments go, they have them here. You can just filter from these different areas. Now I'm going to go back to Forex quickly because we were going to take a look at Australian dollar, U.S. dollar. So I'm going to again type in AUD, USD. Okay, there's my Australian dollar. I'm going to click that. Okay and it's gonna load on my screen. And Australian dollars at really interesting levels for any of you folks that are Aussie traders. Uh, we're, look, 69.84 looks like we're interested in testing the 70 level again. I'm gonna pull up what TradingView refers to as a full feature chart, okay, which is going to give me a much dis more distinct picture, okay, than what I see here of what's happening with the pair and where you can where you can find that full feature chart is right here. So when I hover over this button, you see it turns blue and it gives me the option for this full feature chart for Australian dollar, US dollar. So I'm gonna go ahead and left click that. And we see here my AUD USD chart is loading. Now I'm going to, uh, I have a couple indicators here that I was previously using to look at this uh, pair. Uh, and you can see down here as well, I also have, uh, well, I have the crypto screener on there for now. I'm gonna just toggle back to this Forex screener down here with this drop down because I'm interested in currency pairs now that I'm getting into the, the Asian trading session here. So, um, if you're looking at this chart for the first time, you'll notice there is a Fibonacci retracement indicator on there. Okay, that's because I was using that fairly actively. I'm going to remove that. I can do that right here because I'd like to look at a fresh, uh, clean chart. Now I have a black background on there. Okay, uh, some of you folks might be interested in using a background color that is different. Okay, let's say white. Uh, so what I can do to change the background, okay, this just gets into the preferences. So I'm just showing you how to adjust some of your preferences. It's quite straightforward. Uh, you know, we have this uh, settings button here at the top. So you can see chart properties is what populates when you hover over it. I left click that, okay. Uh, I would like to change the background. So I'm gonna go to the appearance option, okay. You can see my background right now is set to black. I'm gonna click that, left click, change it to white, click okay. Okay, so now I'm looking at a fresh and clean uh, Australian dollar, US dollar chart. Okay, I'm on the four hour time frame, And even just on this four hour, you can see fairly clearly what I was referring to about this imminent, what looks to be an imminent test of this 70 level on uh, Australian dollar, US dollar. Obviously a very key level, a round dollar figure, psychologically significant for anybody who's trading this pair long or short. And the last time we broke through these levels, you know, we're going back to basically early June, around June 10th. So 
uh, it's been about a month since we've broken through uh, the 70 level. So just kind of painting a picture quickly on this pair, uh, it, even if you're not trading it, you can see the significance. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. So I, you know, what you can play with the time frames here, the up and upper left, the drop down arrow allows you to go change the time frame. I'm going to go back to a daily chart here, okay, just to zoom out a little bit. Okay, and I can see if I hold down my mouse and drag left or right, it allows me to consolidate the chart or widen it. Uh, I also have a zoom in feature here, uh, which I can use to uh, highlight any particular candles on the chart if I would like to do that. Uh, so, but what we would like to do for today's tutorial is focus on the preferences. So again, coming back here to the chart properties, any preferences that we wanna change in there, we can do so as I did in the beginning when I removed an indicator, uh, I removed the Fibonacci indicator uh, and I changed the background from black to white. Now, let's say I'm now getting kind of interested in trading for the rest of the July, 2020 here. So I'm gonna zoom out to a weekly chart, okay? which I just changed the time frame from uh, daily to weekly. And here you can really see the significance of this uh, 70 level uh, and the resistance level that we're at, okay? Um, this is a weekly chart, okay? So you can see uh, what happens here over the course of the rest of this week is going to be quite significant. Uh, this pair had a, at a doji here a few weeks ago it tried to make it tried to establish itself on a run down you know, the dollar the us dollar tried to establish itself but the australian dollar wasn't having any of it to this point and uh we're looking like the market wants to see if a risk on environment can push this pair through the 70 level so let's say that at this juncture given all that we've just covered on the pair I want to start to get moving with some indicators, right? I want to start doing some analysis on this chart. So I'm going to, I need to locate where I can load some indicators. And the way to do that is to go to the top and find this uh, button that uh, has an FX symbol on it. You can see it says indicators and strategies right there. So I'm going to go ahead and left click that. Okay. And now I'm being given a whole bunch of options here. Okay. Now, the built-in indicators are some of the more traditional indicators that you're probably used to, although it's such a deep list that I'm, I'm confident that there are many indicators on here that you've never used before. Uh, but for the most part, this is basically what you're going to be looking at for your initial set of indicators. There's also a public library of indicators, which is interesting. As I mentioned in the beginning, uh, when you sign up for the free trial, okay, you're going to be given uh, your own uh, username, basically. And so you will have, you can be the author, okay, of your own indicator. So you can see a script name listed here and the author who generated it. And then, you know, how many likes they got from other users on TradingView. So this is what I was referring to in the beginning. You know, this is a really neat feature because, you know, you can start to gain a bit of a following on trading view if this is what you're looking for as far as you know uh, developing indicators and loading them on trading view you know it might not be for you but it's it's there you have it available to you so uh i'm going to go back I'll, you also have an option for different candlestick patterns okay uh similar in nature you can load these uh as you see fit but for the most part i think that the built-in indicators and the public library of indicators are probably where you're going to be spending most of your time. Now, let's say I wanted to search for an indicator. Okay, I'm gonna scroll, I'm gonna lower this uh, field or, or this window a little bit so I can see the charts and the indicator options at the same time, which for me is optimal. Okay, so I've just pulled this down a little bit. Now, let's say I just wanted to load an exponential moving average, okay, onto this Australian dollar, US dollar chart. You can see I typed in the word moving in the search field and I'm being given these options here immediately. 
The one that I'm interested in is the exponential moving average. So I see that here. If I go ahead and left click that, okay, you can see that TradingView automatically loads the exponential moving average with the most common settings on the chart. You can see the EMA is set to nine, okay? And now I have my exponential moving average on there. So, uh, you know, you might be using uh, other indicators. You know, as you saw in the beginning, I had a Fibonacci retracement indicator on there. I might want to pull that one back up. So if I type in Fib, okay, you can see I'm given different options here. Now I'm being given built-in indicators with the auto Fib retracement, which, is, which I really like. Uh, and then you can see it also shows me from the public library some of the indicators that some of the other TradingView members have loaded. And so if it turns out that I like one of these over time, I can also use that. For the moment, I'm just gonna load the auto fit retracement. Okay, so I left click and there we have it. So you can see uh, the auto fit retracement has loaded on my Australian dollar, US dollar chart as well. So, I'm ready to do some uh, analysis here on this Australian dollar, US dollar trade heading into the Asia trading session. Actually, the new trading day is right around the corner. So this is a really exciting time, particularly for this pair. Uh, so I'm ready to go. You know, this is this is some of the basic analysis that I've that I've done here just in a few minutes uh, that you can do. Uh, if you want on your side to do anything more with uh, the preferences and the settings, you know where to go. It's this charts properties field at the top. That's going to be where you're going to be spending a lot of your time if you're going to be changing uh, any of the preferences beyond what we've done today uh, in terms of wicks. You, know, you can also change the colors and the, the borders of the, of the candles on the wicks uh, and other, you know, uh, appearance related items for the chart for indicators one more time it's the fx button at the top that you're going to need to find left click and once again you're brought to this indicators and strategy section where we were at previously i would recommend dragging it below the chart once it loads just so you can see the indicators loading on the chart as you're adding them to me it's just a little easier to view and so uh, with that, uh, we're going to wrap up today's webinar. Uh, we do have some, uh, last thing I'll say is we do have some nice drawing tools along the left side. So if you do want to, you know, like I said earlier, zoom in on any charts uh, or draw simple trend lines, uh, you, get, you have those options here on the left side uh, column of the charts. So that's where we're going to be spending a lot of our time at least in at the beginner level okay folks so with that we're going to wrap up today's tutorial it's been it's been a pleasure having you in today uh, and if you can please remember as always to visit our youtube channel okay uh this if you subscribe to the forex boat youtube channel you'll find other fantastic content on there uh runs very deep into all different topics of the market uh, and we think you'll be very satisfied with what you'll find. So with that, I'm going to wrap it up for today. Best wishes in your trading and speak to you very soon. Take care.